Guys, I promised that I wasn't going to talk about this case anymore. It is a spectacle. This is the OJ of our time, Kyle Rittenston. The jury's going to decide soon, and we'll miss all our friends. Chicken boy, court man, other court man. Somebody sent me this Jim, James Dore. He's our elder. Should we show him some respect? James Dore video. I couldn't stop watching this thing. I really don't even know really how to describe this except for... <laughs> James Dore just seems like a wacky YouTube guy to me, but this, this video truly is bizarre. So I just wanted to go through uh, this with you. He's talking about the Kyle Rittenberg trial. And uh, I just don't know what planet he and his fans are living on, so uh, we'll, we'll take this step by step. Our first guest is a talented video producer. His videos have gone viral with millions of views. He was uh, also almost employed by the Bernie Sanders campaign in 2020. <laughs> okay, so James Dore gets this guy in the show. He, who is this guy? Oh, he's a guy who edits videos. And he almost works for he almost worked for the Bernard Sanders campaign. Wow. And I looked up like what happened? What, 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 in what capacity did, did he work for the Bernard Sanders campaign? And it looks like he almost worked for them, but then they let him go because <laughs> because they found a video on his YouTube channel where he recut the I guess it's the I have a dream speech or a bunch of MLK speeches. He recut them to make it sound like MLK was basically saying uh, por porno crap. Like MLK was saying a bunch of pervert stuff. And so they were like, okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I don't know if that's a, a, the best reason to fire someone from a campaign. But uh, generally, the guy seems like a bit of a goofball. <laughs> bit of a goofball. So we don't need to... We don't need to you can look up the video, don't need to go too much into his character, but just kind of a random goofball that James Dore found. But here we go. Uh, so this is this is going to be maybe about four or five minutes. So let's watch it. And this is going to explain to you, this will explain to you what actually happened. Because you can't get it from the Washington Post or YouTube, other YouTubers. They've all misreported this seem, seemingly purposely. Okay, so James Dore, really, he's doing this. He's really doing this because the mainstream... Ugh, watching this video, this is an hour. I watched an hour. I wasted... I wasted an hour watching this crap. The amount of times that this guy says establishment media is like... I literally, if somebody can do a count on it, it's just like every every other two, two seconds we're hearing the, the phrase establishment media. So the reason he's showing us this video from this guy, uh, this young, young man... The reason he's showing this is because the mainstream establishment media shows us a biased view of the world, okay? And what he's about to show us is just a unvarnished, uh, ver j the truth. He's going to show us the truth. This video is the truth that he's about to present the that to us. So remember that. <laughs> remember that while we go through this. On August 24th, after finishing his lifeguard shift at a pool in Kenosha, Wisconsin, Rittenhouse and Black spent the evening at Black's stepfather's house. There they watched live streams of groups protesting the police shooting of Jacob Blake. At night, the groups had turned violent, vandalizing and burning local businesses. In response to the unrest, Black's stepfather says he took the guns out of his gun safe for personal protection. The next day, at 10 a.m., Rittenhouse, his sister, and Black set out to help clean up local businesses. Rittenhouse can be seen here removing graffiti from a local high school. That same morning, Joseph Rosenbaum, who would later become the first man shot by Rittenhouse, was released from a mental hospital. He had recently overdosed on pills in an apparent suicide attempt after he physically assaulted his fiance. Later that night, Rosenbaum is seen pushing a flaming dumpster towards a gas station. When others put out the dumpster fire, Rosenbaum tries to start a fight over it and begins yelling at armed citizens. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
Cool. That night, Rittenhouse and Black were armed with rifles protecting Car Source, a business that had been vandalized the night before. For this, Rittenhouse is currently charged with possessing a dangerous weapon under the age of 18. That night, Rittenhouse also carried a med pack, offering care to injured protesters. There's a, there's a medic right here if you need help. What do you want? She got shot in the foot. All right, we're going to go over here. I am an EMT. If you are injured, come to me. What I love about this is that there's no overt lying in this first part. But what's definitely going on is we're, we're getting a story here. They're t he's... This video maker is telling us a story, and he's leaving out a few details. We're getting a story, and the story is, oh, this kid, he just got off lifeguard duty, and he was uh, scrubbing graffiti, and at the same time, this other guy just got out of a mental hospital. Also, he was guarding, he was guarding a business, and he was offering medical service. Now, of course, none of this has anything to do with the self-defense stuff. This is literally, he's creating a narrative. But he leaves some things out of that narrative, which is uh, what makes this <laughs> what makes this so interesting. He leaves out a crucial detail to all this where he's like uh, where he's like he was there to do medical service. That night, Rittenhouse also carried a med pack, offering care to injured protesters. There's a, there's a medic right here if you need help. What do you want? She got shot in the foot. All right, we're going to go over here. I am an EMT. If you are injured, come to me. I am an EMT. If you are injured, come to me. Uh, this kid is not an EMT. This kid is not qualified. He was not, he's not qualified to do what he's claiming uh, he's there to do. So that's a pretty, pretty big omission there here, first of all. And they brought that up again and again in the trial. Like, why are you lying about this? Like, it kind of makes it seem like you're there under a false pretense, my friend. The other thing he says in the video is like he was protecting this place called Car Source. Oh my God. Watch so much of this tri trial that I'm sick of hearing about this stupid car place. That night, Rittenhouse and Black were armed with rifles protecting Car Source, a business that had been vandalized the night before. But uh, he's just like, yeah, he was there protecting it. Another crucial detail left out. Both Rittenhouse and uh, his friend who was accompanying him at the time previously said they were in Kenosha that evening because the owners of the Car Source asked them to guard the properties. But the, uh, the owners of the car place, the family of the owners of the car place, say that uh, they never asked them to do that. And actually, here's a clip from the trial. I did not allow anybody, neither I gave anybody permission. So this is a big omission, because part of what the jury's going to consider in this thing is they're, they're going to think about what the motivation was, what was going on in this kid's head, right? And already, we got two lies to where they're under two false premises. One, to guard a car, uh, whatever, a car repair shop. And then second of all, that he was an EMT. Well, no, he's not. And there's a part that he shows in the video where somebody's like got shot or something. Th what? This is one of the worst, <laughs> this is one of the worst things that can happen if, if you, you know, you have a serious medical situation. Somebody's like, <laughs> actually, the person caring for you is actually like, <laughs> actually, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, what if you're, what if you're at your doctor you know, what if you think about this? What if you were at your doctor, right? And you're getting your weekly tuchis check. That is my own sperm. And you look up at the doctor's certificate and it has like a Shutterstock watermark over it. You'd be like, oh, this is, uh-oh. Rittenhouse can be seen here removing graffiti from a local high school. That same morning, Joseph Rosenbaum, who would later become the first man shot by Rittenhouse, was released from a mental hospital. If this guy's going through the setup, you know, oh, this guy got out of a mental hospital. You know, he got into a fight, a domestic thing with his fiance. He had a restraining order. Why would you leave out? <laughs> why would you leave out these crucial details? So already we're getting a pretty we're off to a pretty rocky start here with this video. This is what uh, if you wasted as wasted as much time as I did watching this trial, it's painfully obvious what was going on here with all this kind of with all this lying about being an, an EMT lying about uh, their reason for being there completely obvious and you just you throw in the gun nut stuff this kid posing in his uh, social media another crucial detail that this video leaves out 14 days before this he was in a, a social media post he wished he had a rifle to shoot some strangers uh, he was watching coming out of a CVS he recorded that and uploaded it to social media but you put all that together it's painfully obvious what was going on here kid wanted to run around with a gun ran around with a gun, unnecessarily killed two people and blew off the arm of one other per person. Horrible decision from the beginning. 
totally unnecessary and unreasonable use of force. You know, the other thing that I didn't really notice before, uh, another thing that should be crucial, and I think they mentioned this in the in the, uh, in the the trial, is while I was watching this, because this, the guy's making a case here in this video of like, look at this, look at this guy. Run. The first guy he killed running around, he was lighting fires. Just a horrible guy. D deserved to die, honestly. He was really asking for some of this. But one thing you see in this video is that guy, I mean, he's he's a lunatic, the the first guy that this kid shot. He's a, he's a crazy guy, but he's 5 foot 3, which came out in the trial. He's like getting up in people's faces and they're basically just doing the cartoon like push and swing and he and he like and he basically crumples away. If you don't have one of these, very kind of uh, easy to deal with that situation. Get away! Like that's what people were. That's what people were doing. But when you're sort of like a 17 year old maga fetus obsessed with guns, then you end up with that. <laughs> Something that could just be this, which there's tons of video of. Just get, hey, fuck you, bro! And then just shut up. <laughs> and then he just basically rolls up into like an armadillo. It's pretty much like video proof that this was like completely unreasonable force used here. This is kind of perfect because after Jimmy Dore watches this video, right? This video that leaves out a bunch of crucial details. And by the way, you know, Jimmy Dore is going to go on and on and on about the establishment media and the mainstream media. All this is uploaded. Like the entire trial is uploaded. So that you can you can find all the all of the details. You could get the entire picture. He's like, they're keeping it from you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could just do a couple clicks over to, uh, you know, what every every establishment media source has uploaded the trial. And I could get the whole pic. I get the whole picture there. But Jimmy Dore does. He he's like the perfect example of like of how this like propaganda video works because. He's going to take exactly what the video wants him to take from this. Here we go. It's up to you to decide. Was it reasonable for Rittenhouse to believe? Okay, so for making that video, just first of all, that's, I didn't know, again, all I did was read the headlines and the reporting that I casually saw uh, told a totally different story. I was told that he chased people. I was told that he showed up there with the intent to just start cause mayhem and kill people. Well, it turns out he was putting out fires and scrubbing off graffiti and, and helping people who were injured. And then it wasn't until people started to attack him that he defended himself with that rifle. He even says in part of this, he's like, uh, he's like, uh, I was, I was led to believe that he was there to create mayhem. Well, I mean, if you know some of these other details that came out in the trial, very much looks like he was there to create mayhem. Also, like, Jimmy Dore is a huge, has a huge channel. He's got almost a million subscribers. He can't watch the trial. Like, he doesn't, well, what else are you doing? You don't have time to watch the, the trial of this thing that you're going to get, what is it, like a quarter million hits on? You ain't got Wi-Fi? You ain't got Wi-Fi? 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 You ain't got Wi-Fi? Million subs and he ain't got Wi-Fi. <sighs> so this video goes into a lot of character stuff, but another thing that I've been noticing about this case that's pretty funny is a lot of the... A lot of the stands of this guy, of this, uh, ki this kid shooter, a lot of them think that he's, he's like technically, like there's some technical version of this where like he's technically... It was very, very technically self-defense and that that's it that's it. it it's like it's that's it like they don't really understand how the law works that how how subjective this stuff is and that there's a jury who right now it's been what like three days of deliberation this is what i'm guessing is going on uh, with that jury is that there's one group of people who are like uh let him go let him go ship shape give him a gun on the way out and then there's another group of people who are who took into account the entire context of this, lying about why you're there, getting getting an older kid to buy you a gun. Those people, you know, like me, they took the whole thing in. They took the whole thing in, and then they're like, 
yeah, there's kind of more to this story. Wow, Bat. It, there certainly must be something to this if some a solid dude like you was looking into it. Have we been told a lie by the establishment media like they always do? I don't know. I There's something like his, his old guy vibes. There's something funny to me about it. But uh, the, he, this is oh, I, literally the phrase establishment media comes up in this video at least 4,000 times. But this version of the story where this was just a good boy cleaning up graffiti and doing lifeguard stuff and we're going to leave out the stuff about him uploading social media posts where he says he wants to shoot people and lying about EM being an EMT, lying about his age, lying about that uh, these people wanted him to guard the business, da 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 we're going we're gonna to leave out all that and portray this kid as a, as a good boy. And, and Jimmy Dore's like, the establishment media doesn't want you to hear this narrative. Uh, Jimmy Dore, have you turned on Fox News lately? Oh, you've been on. Oh, you've been on Fox News a bunch. So what are you talking about with all this establishment media stuff? I hate the establishment media. Uh, not Fox News, though. I think uh, Fox News is a co-op. It's sort of like a co-op that not a lot of people, they can't, they can't get any traction because they're so anti-establishment. So he goes on and on about how people, look, we just showed you that video, the, the naked truth, the naked truth of the thing. Why did they even have a trial? That's what I want to know. Why did they even have a trial? Why didn't they just show that video? And then everybody's like, yep, done, done. We don't need to do trials anymore. We just need to watch heavily edited videos from uh, 20 year olds. But uh, the second part of the video is him sort of strutting around, like just flexing, like just flossing on fools, because he's like, we showed that video and now we're going to make fun of everybody who doesn't get it. So here's one more. Because 80% of people polled had no clue they were white. The media purposely hid that point. I didn't know it was 80% of the people. So this is a big part of the thing that they go over and over again. Look at the establishment media, whatever that means. The establishment media lied so much that they thought that the people who were shot were black, I guess, is the thing. And But, but they're not black. So that shows that everybody except for me was lying. <laughs> me, every, everybody except for me and Tucker Carlton, this guy. <laughs> are lying about this and uh only only we're gonna tell you the truth so let's keep those super chats let's keep those super chats coming but he's giving a stat here in the form of a tweet here i'll read this i'll read this tweet to you because 80 percent of people polled had no clue they were white media purposely hid that point i found this guy's tweet i found the thread um no source no source i tried searching no source i'm not saying it doesn't exist i mean it could be somebody could help me find this please but however even if it does exist okay and i'm not saying it doesn't why would you show the why would you show a tweet of a stat like why would you not go to the actual paper or whatever and show that to just confirm yeah look here it is here's this here's the study or here's the poll. You did. You went out and stuck your chin out and did something, which he'll never do. He doesn't even leave his apartment. He's talking about this uh, humanist report, dude, where he, I guess he retweeted the video guy and he said that he's defending shitty people. So that's what Jimmy Dore's talking about. Here we go. He'll never stick his chin out for anything. He wouldn't even cover Russiagate. He was such a coward. And so now here he is coming at you over this. And that's that's the thanks you get. And that's the kind of shit lib culture people like this push. Right. And it's a cult. It, that, that's what this is cult like behavior. All right. So so James Dore is like, this is cult like behavior. These people just. So he's saying this is a cult. Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore goes on Fox News all the time. So please uh, explain this to me. Uh, and, and it's got to be incredibly nerve wracking. It's also, you know, he, in, in a sense, he's a little bit of an icon for those of us who believe that he did mount a very good self-defense defense. defense. Uh, I was listening to Tucker last night. Dana Lash said self-defense is on trial here. I wholeheartedly agree with that. So if you didn't catch that, she, <laughs> this channel that, that James Dore goes on all the time, Fox News, um, he's a... <laughs> This kid's a bit of an icon, quote unquote, a bit of an icon for uh, self-defense. And by the way, me and everybody else on this channel, we all have the exact same view on this case. I mean, I, I get it. Like James, it, it's he's an interesting character because like 
you know, <laughs> I feel like this is purely numbers driven. Like he's like, what do I have to say? What do I have to say to get to like 300,000 views per video? Threw a bag, chased the guy, was lighting shit on fire, starting everybody in the crowd was like, dude, calm down. You're going to get someone shot. He starts chasing Kyle Rittenhouse, throws a bag of shit at him. Where did they get that bag from? From the mental hospital he just came up from. That's where they threw his bag. Uh, he threw his bag from the mental hospital. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Anti-establishment Jimmy Dore, James Dore. A uh, great prescription for mental health care in the U.S. Let children shoot them. Good. <laughs> They'll say, do you? You have a mental health problem. Oh, you do? Okay. I mean, and obviously, if he wanted to do like an anti-establishment, like go after the, go after the power. Fight, fight the power, to quote the great Charles D. If he wanted to go for some fight the power type of crap in his video, this is an obvious, there's an obvious angle and the the true angle to this i'll read you this headline from the intercept the senate's military spending this from 2017 the the senate's military spending increase alone is enough to make public college free we're not talking okay just to re make you understand this headline um this is not the military budget it's just the amount that it increased in 2017 just the amount it increased we could have made public college free how does this connect to what we were just talking about? What? How is this the real story? Well, things like uh, people having access to mental health care. <laughs> so they don't do this. <laughs> and having access to, to education and all this stuff uh, would have helped them both. If we had a little less of a... <laughs> a little more sane of a society. Instead of this... I mean, it's completely mirrored in this uh, this situation. Spending money on this instead of uh, healthcare, education, yeah, you end up with a, a lunatic society. So there you go. Somebody clip this, send this to Jimmy Dore, and be like, hey, there you go. There's your anti-establishment story. Ding dong. Feel a little bit sorry for James Dore because I he I, from what I understand, he used to work at the Young Turks. He used to do this at the Young Turks. <laughs> He used to Keep that little smug. at the Young Turks, um, but now he's like enemies. <laughs> now he's like enemies with those guys or something. It's sort of like, oh, God, it's like mean girl drama on YouTube. You know what I mean? Jimmy Dore's lighting his tongue on fire. What do you see the narrative that they built around this? That's that's what shit libs contribution to our culture is dividing us at every turn. That's all they can do. He says this over and over again about the Young Turks. He's like, they're dividing the country. It's like, dude, half of the country seems to think that this kid's a, a quote-unquote hero. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could kind of understand if they were like, look, like, this kid made a bunch of bad decisions. He's a bit of a moron. You know, he's an idiot. But, you know, on on we believe on some technical grounds, some, tech, some legal technical grounds, uh, situ some legal technicality that we view in the law. Um, we believe that this was self-defense and, you know, we are going to try to figure out how to prevent things like this from happening again and people getting killed. No, they don't. Th they're, they're not saying they're saying he's a hero. That bridge is going to have to be built on some other crap, on some economic crap or something. Okay. <laughs> Okay, one last thing. Uh, while I was watching this James Dore video, now now I get suggested Tuck Carlton uh, things, I guess. Uh, but <laughs> this video came up, and just watch the first uh, couple seconds of this thing. This is great. <laughs> so I guess this is live. What is, oh, the Patriot Awards in Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Florida. I've been to Hollywood, Florida many times, and I always do the same thing when I go there. My favorite fun activity, which is leave as soon as possible. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Hollywood's fine. I uh, used to buy fireworks from there, but uh, I love this, this, like, this rowdy crowd. They're like, yeah, woo! Like this kind of rowdy crowd to watch this like goofball 
talk, read off a teleprompter. Woo! Here on the show yeah. of the Patriot Awards in, Hell yeah. in the good Hollywood, Hollywood, Florida. You can stream the whole thing right after the show. It's on FoxNation.com, but we recommend it. But first, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. So there's a difference between lying and propaganda, and it's worth knowing what it is. I mean, why ever do this live? <laughs> it's like, like just the 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 energy, like the, the minute he starts reading off that teleprompter, the energy just drains out of the thing. Yeah! Woo! And then uh, the mainstream media, oh, okay. This just, got, this just got real boring, real boring, real quick. I would never do this live. This thing, if I did this live, I would immediately be, I think, brutally beaten. And I would I deserve it. Like, while they're beating me, I'd be like, yep, yep, I asked for this. Doing this live, you know, just getting bludgeoned. And I'll be like, yep, this is exactly right. This is exactly what I deserve for doing this live. Just me stopping and starting sentences that I know I'm going to have to edit later. And, be, and a, a crowd of people behind me, like, he deserves to be killed for this. So, guys, it's Friday. And you know what we have to do? We have to go through this little charade every Friday where I remind a lot of you guys are troubled teens. Okay, a lot of troubled teens out there and you make bad choices. When you go out, when you go out to party, you know, and you overdo it and you make a complete fool of yourself, make sure to take Uber, 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 Uber cars. Okay. Make pee pee. Make pee pee on Uber social. cars. I'm ready to sell my mother into slavery. If you find yourself, you're out and you start saying things like that, it's time to take Uber cars. Wow. Okay. You don't want to be in that situation. Well, anyway, guys, this video was brought to you by EA Sports. Then the game. Bye bye. Hey, guys. You're only getting a fraction of the weekly shows. If you want a new mother episode every day, subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. You get the patron-only Tuesday and Thursday shows. The Book of Lega show where we look at important books. And the goddamn weekly behind-the-scenes show. And for only 25 bones, you could become a producer and get your name up here. Look at these people. These people make this show possible. If it was... If it wasn't for them, nothing. We don't have a show. We got nothing, and, it go and it's garbage. garbage. And we have to just leave. We have to just basically walk away, and we don't even really know where we're walking. That's, that's, that's the truly troubling part about all this. But please, become a patron today. For as little as two bones, or if you, or five bones is another level, or ten, or you go the full 25 and you get up here. Big special thanks to these people. Love you guys. Love you guys so much.